Hey everyone, I had a uh, subscriber ask me to do a quick video on how I put the um, screens together for the 4Runner. This is a 5th gen Toyota 4Runner and one of the nice things about the 4Runner is it has a very wide flat metal, uh, I'm just going to call it a shelf that goes around the car windows like that, see? It's really nice. Now, there's nothing down here. So I was thinking, gosh, how am I going to attach something there? I thought maybe I'd put magnets underneath this and do stuff. But there's a lot of stuff going on in this, this right here. Because this whole panel is hanging off of whatever the structure is under here. So there's not a lot of room to put magnets or things under there. So instead what I did was I went to you know Home Depot or Lowe's and I got this long piece of I think it's aluminum I think it's aluminum it's only about let's say an eighth of an inch and it's about a half inch okay now I just came back and I think I measured this thing roughly with a tape measure and I started in this corner because that's kind of a 90 degree angle and I knew I could use an L bracket glued on to hold this piece and this piece together. So I just, the thing was straight to begin with. So I came over here and I just manually bent it up. Now you see it's not perfect, right? Big old fly or a bee could get through there. But I have never had any mosquitoes or flies get in the car through, through this, these windows. I just bent it up bent it up kind of bent it around there not a perfect fit not a perfect fit kind of around there you know probably tuck that up a little bit but not a perfect fit then down to here and you see there's a lot of room underneath actually but again I've never had a fly get all the way down here right and then come underneath so then I went, I got these L brackets, which are half inch wide and I don't know, an inch by an inch. And I glued them in with epoxy. And then I spray painted the whole thing matte black. And I laid it down on the ground, right on a table. And I got this noceum netting. This is not, this is a fabric, it's not a metal. And I just hot glued that sucker all along these edges right and this screen is three years old it's doing great and I just trimmed everything up right just trimmed it all up all the excess and then you can see that there's sort of these little slivers in here see that a couple of slivers right there okay those are rare earth magnets you can get them at walmart and not walmart amazon you probably get them at walmart but i got them at amazon they're very very strong <laughs> they are unbelievably strong and uh so i've got a couple you know here they're just it's just rudimentary the way it's put in like that it's just a pressure fit and it's pulling really hard to the, this metal behind here and you see it's not a perfect fit see that it's not perfect. This is not about perfection, people. This is about getting things mostly there. And I did have a whole bunch of them, of the magnets running up this, because this, this is metal as well. So that worked. And that's basically it. Now, full disclosure, I didn't use the right epoxy in here so I would talk to the people at Home Depot and Lowe's I'd look on the epoxy make sure what I probably did was paint this thing and then epoxy over the paint which is stupid I should have just gone metal to metal epoxy and um, been done with it but anyway I've had to fix these things a little bit that side you probably can't see but that side is it's gotten really squirrely but it doesn't matter because most of the time my windows are not open all the way like this. Um, unless I'm sitting still. I never drive around with these windows open all the way like this. 
because it puts a lot of flex, you know, from the wind on the on the curtains. And I'm worried somehow that this thing would get sucked out, you know, and go flapping around on the highway. And, you know, it's it is all aluminum. It could do some damage to somebody else's car. So I usually only lower these things this much when I'm sitting around. And sometimes if I know I'm just absolutely not moving and the wind's not that bad, they come down. Now, when I'm driving though, these windows, these side windows all the way up. The rest of the time, you know, if it's a nice day, I got this window down and I like to have my back window down. It's just nice to flush the car out. But that's kind of it. Not a whole lot to it. Very simple. That's what I came up with. And uh, it wasn't my first attempt. I actually did try to put some magnets in here, but I found that they didn't quite work and they bent some things and mangled some stuff. So I somehow got this to about this point. It's been working for three years. Not gonna change it. Uh, yeah, anytime soon. I don't really notice, you know, I, I don't know if you can see there's some wrinkles in here. That doesn't really bother me because again, most of the time this window is all the way up to there, you know. But what's great is that, you know, the, you can open and close your window, your thing. I mean, they don't go anywhere, you know. And uh, you don't have to set them up, right? They're already set up every night. So that's fantastic. Just adds to the, the, the usability of this rig, right? I can just pull in, flush the air out of the car, get a nice breeze going through if I want to just hang out somewhere. Now I did think of making one for the back windows, but I guarantee the force of the wind going through the car. Actually what happens is the wind gets sucked into the car. But um, the force of that would blow that sucker right out. So I haven't even attempted to make it uh, because, you know, this is good enough. This is good enough. And I have seen the things that go across right up here. That's kind of cool. But it takes away from the the stealthiness of the car because it looks weird. You know, these things look weird enough when you got those little circular vent things or whatever going across, which are, which are really cool looking. They give it away. You know, in this car, when that window's up, you can't see any screen or anything. So it, it's really good safety-wise, uh, stealthy-wise. All right, enough rambling. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And uh, let me know what other videos you guys want me to make. I will make them and throw them up there for you. Have a great day. Ciao.